Well, surprising no one with half a brain, Hogwarts Legacy has absolutely obliterated sales. It has done so much money. $850 million in sales in two weeks. Jeez. <laughs> Almost speechless, but obviously... I wouldn't be making a video if I was speechless. So, hit subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and share it. Thanks so much. Because you, you're definitely going to do that, aren't you? So, thank you. Cheers. Anyway, mm. that, that was the Warner Brothers Discovery earnings call, right? That happened yesterday. I was live streaming at the time of this call. We covered some of the bits uh, on the live stream, the HCast, which you can actually find uh, in the description box, the second channel, Miss H Reviews Live Archives. It won't be up there just yet, but it will be, and there'll be clips and stuff. So we covered one of the things on there. Um, but this dropped as well. Warner Brothers Discovery CEO David Zaslav says, says games are core to strategy as Hogwarts Legacy 12, sells 12 million units in two weeks. That is staggeringly high. That is so good. Uh, or, look, you know, it's, it's almost... Yeah, I mean, that's... Uh, it's difficult to put it into perspective. That is so, so good. So good. And so funny as well, because everyone was like, Eh, yeah, boycott that wizard game. I oh, suck it. Your child. No one cares about your stupid little boycott. You can't... You just... You can't keep stamping your feet and expect to get exactly what you want. It's, uh, it's a losing strategy, and look, you lost. The free market spoke. People wanted to play this game. The game's good for all intents and purposes. People enjoyed it. So this earnings call, anyway. Warner Brothers Discovery CEO David Zanslav called Games Core to the merged company's strategy as its latest Hogwarts Legacy, the open-world action role-playing game, has sold more than 12 million units and hit $850 million in two weeks. Now, it's really important to differentiate between what David Zaslav and Warner Brothers do versus other companies, they still make the games. They're not selling the license off, giving them to off to uh, you know other people. It's like Warner Brothers Games works on this. It is their, their studio in gaming. Yeah, and that, that's really important. They're one of the only ones that still do it and have made so much money on the back end of it. So no wonder they're like, hmm, riddle me this. How can we earn more money? We'll make more games. There you go. Gaming, it's an industry. Oh, we've got our foot in it. We might as well walk into it a bit more. Idiots. But uh, yeah, $850 million globally is just staggeringly high. Now that confirms that the open world action role-playing game is a major hit for Warner Brothers games. No, really? Really? Yeah, huge hit. Huge hit. As the only studio scaled in gaming, we see it as meaningful differentiator and a substantial opportunity, Zaslav said on the earnings call last night. Uh, and this isn't even released on everything yet, uh, as far as I'm aware. There's still platforms for it to release on. So the release on PS5, Xbox Series X, S. There's Xbox X and S, what the hell? Uh, and PC surpasses all of the company's previous game launches, exceeded sales records across the three platforms where it's currently available, uh, and it's become the biggest single-player game ever on Twitch. Ever. The biggest single-player game ever on Twitch. With 1.28 million peak concurrent viewers at launch, the company said. God, wow. And they thought a boycott was going to work. Ha! Ha, 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 ha. Uh, the release has also seen an increase of overall global franchise fan engagement with the IP, with Wizarding World, uh, Wizarding World Digital garnering 300% higher traffic over the normal monthly unique visitor average for the first 10 days of February. I just, it... In two weeks, two weeks, it's so much... So we are so thrilled and proud to see the players' response to Hogwarts Legacy from gamers, fans who are new to gaming, and reviewers around the world. This is David Haddad, uh, president of Warner Brothers Games. Our development team at Avalanche delivered an amazing, high-quality Wizarding World experience that truly fulfills the fan fantasy of life at Hogwarts. 
and our publishing teams have executed a global impactful launch campaign. And you know what? All you had to do was not bow down to the mob. Funny that. It's just say no. Boycott, no. Cancel, no. Don't make this, no. Just say no. Just do that from now on. Just say no. That should be the that should be the tagline of the game, Hogwarts Legacy. Just say no. I'll, I'll I'll lend my voice. We'll do the video video game movie voiceover. Hogwarts in a world where <laughs> where activists stamp their feet. Hogwarts Legacy. Just say no. <laughs> oh, cracks me up. Anyway. Yeah, this is amazing. And the thing is, is, with this game, is that they only have years up till a certain point. So you could expand this content and play through the final years of Hogwarts as a school. Um, so there's plenty of ways you can just expand this outwards. And make no mistake, they'll make, a, they'll make a movie based on this now. So Hogwarts Legacy was developed by Avalanche Software and published by Warner Brothers Games under Portkey Games label. Based on J.K. Rowling's world and everyone stamped their feet and was crying because J.K. Rowling earned some money. Uh, Zazlab said the game's release had been delayed by several months to get it right. And it's part of a push to mine IP across the merge company from new Lord of the Rings movies announced today to DC superheroes. Which, uh, you know, like I said, that the Lord of the Rings things were covered uh, on the live stream. This is, this is madness. This is so good. $850 million in two weeks. Yeah. I mean, that is, that is just amazing they would have earned staggering sums of money in terms of profit so much money in profit done dusted there you go what do you think ladies and gents i'd love to hear your thoughts again just say no it's not difficult they can't do anything when you just say no you just go no we, what they're gonna do nothing i love it absolutely love it and you know what? Good. Like, I'm glad the game's doing well. Because for all intents and purposes, anyone I've seen play it loves the game. They think it's a very, very good game. They think it's great. So, you know, more for you. Enjoy it. You know, I'm personally enjoying Dead Space Remake. I uh, play that on the channel at the weekends. Uh, and it's good just to get a, just a game that people like and didn't bow down to the mob and people just don't give a shit. Love it. So let me know what you think down below. Cheers, ladies and gents. Take care.